Kenny Johnson with, with today's fast break with Mike Miller, veteran of the Denver Nuggets. Mike, what do you think you have to do to turn things around? Uh, just got to start winning games. We've been there, played a little bit of play, pretty tough schedule so far. So just got to figure out ways to play 48 minutes and win games uh, when we got when we're close. What's the confidence that? Because y'all been playing some of the elite level teams that y'all been playing with the Golden States and San Antonio's lately. We're confident. I mean, I think that's a good thing about our team. And, uh, the coaching staff instills that in us. You know, we've been there. We've had a tough schedule. Uh, we have a chance, we've had a chance to win every game, which is good. I just got to keep plugging away. Uh, what's some things you learned going through this tough stretch about your team that's going to be able to help y'all in the big picture going forward? Then we have enough talent to win. That's the most important thing. We've got the right structure and the right system in place. And, we just gotta trust that and go out and do it now. How do you think with your team being like? I know y'all got a good mix of um, veterans and um, rookies. Do you think um, learning how to win on the road is gonna be something key? Because they got to play different versus playing at home versus playing on the road. Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously, winning on the road is always tough. Um, you always want to take care of your home court and, and find ways to steal games on the road. Uh, and we'll do that. I think we got enough talent, like I said, in this room. And, Cultures the right way. Uh, continue to build on that. Be better. You talk coming. You've been running a lot, a lot of talented players in your time in the league. Why you Why you been letting it fly? Can you talk about um, the progress of Emmanuel? How he, how he continues to improve each outing. No, he continues to get better, which is the most important thing. And the whole thing about this league is not getting too high, not getting too low. Uh, I understand he has some flows of it. Yeah. It's a challenging position to come yeah. at, anyways, as a point guard. Uh, so he. He wants to work. He wants to be good. He works hard. Uh, so he's got all the tools to do it. It's going to be fun to watch his career, for sure. And you talk about y'all defense, because it seems like the games that y'all win, it's like we, we've seen flashes. Y'all playing some brilliant stretches of defense, and then that's some not so flashes, but it's like you know y'all can do it. Yeah, it's a practically young team. You know, I think Coach uh, Malone has done a great job of coming in here, putting a defensive structure in place, and understanding that that's how we're going to win games. Um, you know, it's no secret that the games we do win are good defensively. Um, so. Our defense is a direct correlation of our offense, and uh, we probably the young team is, is doing it every once in a while. But we're maturing, and we get better, and we we'll do it all the time now. And last but not least, you think going through this tough stretch would be something that make y'all better, like when it counts, like in February and March? It always does. You know, it always does. I think you always got to put stuff in in, uh, in perspective a little bit. We've had a tough schedule. We're a young team, uh, a lot of new pieces, new coaching staff. It's going to take time, uh, but we'll be fine. And, uh, we're not, we're not satisfied with where we're at, but we're happy with the way we're going. Thanks for your time. Mike Miller, today's fast break.